This is Ellie, day one of a short four-day training. Ellie is, uh, I believe, somewhere is around six months old. She's a bloodhound puppy, and um, I just have her for Christmas. She is incredibly difficult to walk because she's crossing in front of you, running into her your back legs all over the road. And so day one, um, our focus for the last four blocks has just been to try and get her to stay along the left hand, my left hand side. We're making that easier for her by walking so that the left hand side is where she can play and sniff in the snow a little bit. She's allowed to sniff, potty, play, go a little ways away from me, but with the, uh, the head halter that she has on, she can't pull very hard. A lot of the head rubbing is in an effort to get that off, um, but even without that on, she's all over the place anyway. She's not very interested in any treats that she liked in the house because the world out here is so overwhelming and exciting that treats just aren't exciting enough to get her motivated right now. That's okay. We don't need those to do some work. Ellie, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. So I let her play, and then we walk. Let her play, and then we walk. Come on. She's incredibly freaked out about that. <laughs> so come on. We'll get on by it. So I let her walk on the other side of the road for me. Just, oh, and she knocked my treat bag off to try and get by that. Every time I find a parking lot or someplace not icy, I can, come on, Ellie work on changing directions and getting her to pay more attention to me that way. Ellie, come on. Ellie. Ellie. Good girl. Come on. Ellie. Good girl. Come on. All right. Ellie. Come on. Good girl. Ellie. have to be incredibly careful walking because you never know when she's going to be incredibly afraid of some mundane thing and practically blow through my legs and knock me over on the ice. I don't know if it's that she's coming close to going into her first heat or some other fear period or if she's just always like this lately. Good girl. Good girl. She stops and looks at me. I'm going to pet her and play with her. Good girl. She loves her ears rubbed. Come on, Ellie. Come on. Get yourself unwrapped. Come on. <laughs> Ellie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now Baxter's going to get tangled up in this. Hold on, hold on. I knew there's a chance that Pioneer Square might be very interesting and very scary to her. We'll see how she reacts to a few more statues. 
before bringing her to the ranch around some big animals. That move. These guys don't move. Well, at least I hope not. Come on, Ellie. Ellie, come on. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Come on, Ellie. Come on. Sometimes in a roundabout is a really good training obstacle. Come on. Ellie. Come on. Come on. Ellie, come on. Come on. Come on. The Nutrix head halter doesn't really fit her well where it pu pushes up against her eyes. Ellie, can you look up here and see? Good girl. Very good girl. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Off. But uh, I like the way it works with her. And both times I've gone to take her out, my training bag was in the truck with my husband, so I didn't have a gentle leader. These work more on oppositional reflex, where they push against the dog's neck when they pull, instead of the gentle leader that connects under their chin and just kind of takes away their center of gravity when they try to pull. Okay, come on. Come on, see the goats. You see the pony? Come on, Ellie. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you want to play with them? She's excited about the sheep because when she barks at them, they move away. The horses and the cows don't do that. They stand firm. Come on. Ellie, come on. Come on. Come see the sheep again. <laughs> no, not interested in them anymore, huh? Just playing? I'm going to walk back through the gauntlet. Horses and cows on both sides of us. Come on. The first time through this, I had to have both hands on the leash. So we'll see if time number two is a heck of a lot better, hopefully. Much better. We can get through it without me dragging her at all. <laughs> I 
You're going to get tangled up again. Yeah, you're going to get tangled up again. Come on, Ellie. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ellie. A little closer. Yeah, a little closer. Ten minutes ago, she couldn't do this without barking. Not one bit. And trying to run. Hey, L. I think there's some pieces of horse hoof right there that she's fighting over. No. No dog fights. No dog fights. No. No. Come on. Away from there. Here we are showing up to the ranch. Day two. This is how she acted the first time. It gets all the other dogs barking. But then she calms down. Like walking through the gauntlet. Animals on all sides. Except this time it is a little bit better. I can hold the phone and her at the same time. Come on, Ellie. The sheep all gather up in defense formation. All right, I gotta pause this. Get the leash out from under her. So here we are, walking through the horses and cows after having been here about an hour. She'll still let off a little wolf or howl every now and then. Um, but mostly, come on Ellie, is able to walk through. Until she hears a different noise or 
different animal. She did get shocked by the electric fence down by those horses. We just kind of played it off like no big deal and she recovered. She tried to go up and sniff them. Come on, Ellie. So I was worried that that would set us back, but um, it didn't. She recovered. Out of the... Come on. Probably clippings of horse hooves in this area that she's trying to eat. Come on. Her and Baxter get along pretty well now. They even play a little bit. So I switched to a little bit smaller head halter. This pink one seems to fit her a little bit better. Doesn't push up under her eyes quite so bad. And she's got the hang of staying at my left hand side. Ellie, sit. Yes, good girl, with me. Ellie, front. Sit. Uh-uh. Come here. Ellie, sit. Yes, good girl. She's still going to fight it, especially because it's a little bit different fit. Um, and it's only about the fourth time that she's worn it. But it definitely makes walking much easier. Alright, just entering Baumgars. She about went wild seeing so many people up at the front. So we took to the back of the store until she can get a little more used to just the surroundings and then we'll worry about the people. I've never seen a dog try to dig in cement. Is there something buried under that cement? Huh? What's under there, Ellie? Stay. Good girl. Good girl. Stay. Ellie, come. Come on. Yes, good girl. All right. Good girl. Hey. Good girl. Yay. All right. All right. You can sniff. Yeah, you can sniff. Isn't that a reward for a hound, huh? Sniff the bones. Sniff the bones. What do you think? Huh? I think I want this off. I think I want this off. Come on. Let's walk past my favorite shirts. Because 20% off of $50 will just make me drool and know that I still won't even spend that much money. Come on, Ellie. Come on. 
Come on. Figure eight. There we go. Good girl. Come on. You act like you're getting tired. You're not the bouncy wild pup you were when we got here. That's good. Means it's time to go home. Ellie, this way. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Ellie, this way. This way. Such a huge difference from the first day when... Come on. She's like, I don't want to leave the store. That was fun. Come on. Elle. <laughs> you can't go say hi. Come on. Come on. Yeah, such a huge difference from walking her the first day when... She couldn't just stay on one side of me, running into my legs, walking in front of me, tripping me. Now she can be on a long leash, but a loose leash. Ellie, come on. And not pull around. So one of the things I do for no jumping is offering them treats at the gate and if they jump up on it I walk away ah. Ah. which Baxter ah. usually isn't the naughty one I'll even turn around and ignore them. There we go. There. And then give everybody a treat. Okay. Off. Little brat. New tricks head halter. Off. So, this is the part that goes over the dog's snout. The cushy, um, soft velvety part and you take uh, let me see if I can set this phone up so that I have a free hand all right I had to find a dog that doesn't wiggle so much so so you have kind of the martingale piece right here that goes over the dog's head Tuck their ears under it. Soft piece goes up on the nose. Looks like that. Works by oppositional reflex. When you pull here, it pushes against the dog's head. 